there's not one parent that I have worked with in the last 30 years that doesn't love their children, doesn't want to nurture their children and doesn't want to protect their children. I want Bernadette's mother to stand there and watch when I'm photographing her and think, oh, I've never seen her look so beautiful. Look like a fairy in a really pretty dress. Mm -hmm. Does that mean to gather a little bit more in the front? Up a bit more, up, and then up more. Well, I came home one afternoon after work and found her with high fever. We took her to the hospital the moment we saw the spots on her trunk. Not knowing what meningococca was, I just kept on thinking, OK, we'll get over this, we'll go, you know, we'll go home. Every hour um, it got progressively worse. Just three weeks later we had that difficult decision to have to amputate below the knees on both legs. She lost some fingers and parts thereof on both hands. For us, our choice was we lose the limbs or we lose her life. How could something that a little person who is that perfect, how could that happen to them? She's got a blossoming personality and she inspires us all. I want to get this special sort of strength and courage through in the imagery. Bernadette does look beautiful, inside and out. The whole protect, nurture, love mantra just totally came through today. Totally came through. It's so important to immunise against this disease trying to raise the level of awareness of this insidious disease by showing these brave survivors how beautiful and how courageous they are, but that this can be avoided.